We continue our celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month now as we take you to Levine, a new state of the art community center being built and it is almost ready to open. In the heart of Cesar Chavez Park in Levine, you're going to notice construction. It's the site of the future Cesar Chavez Community Center, and we got a sneak peek. We're going to have two monitors that are going to be announcing our programs. Park Supervisor Juan Rodriguez with the City of Phoenix has been following its progress for years. We put together a committee to talk about, okay, what would a community center look like? Where would it be best located? And, you know, kind of start thinking about what are some of the things that can be included in a community center that would best fit the needs of Levine residents. And they've come up with a center they hope will have everything neighbors are looking for. Basketball court where you can actually have a full court game. That's the outline of the running track. When the center opens, this room is going to be for eSports players. All these, all these game games that are out there and the kids really getting active and staying indoors and, and really becoming really, really good at this. And so this is going to give us an opportunity to explore a different experience for our community. That plan has this dad happy. An element where they would actually be in physical proximity to another human instead of just sitting in their room on a, on a console is, is pretty cool. Now the design of the community center is meant to tie in the agricultural roots of the Levine area, but with a modern twist. The agriculture ties here are strong, both on the farmers and farm workers side, which is why the name Cesar Chavez is so significant. So to have somebody like Cesar Chavez have the honor of being able to, to name this facility after him, it's something that's going to be a, a mainstay for a very long time. According to the Parks Department, it was slated to open this past summer, but delays have pushed the timeline back. It's got some hiccups. Um, so whether it's supply chain or whether it's labor or whatever the case may be. And when it's ready, neighbors will be ready to walk through those doors and enjoy. Having additional amenities that, you know, are a draw for kids, it's a positive draw for kids, mm -hmm. is, a, is a pretty significant thing. So right now the center could open by December, but more likely early 2023. Rodriguez says this is the first full community center the city has built in 14 years. So they're all really excited about it and they are still hiring too. So if you are interested, make sure to visit phoenix.gov slash jobs. I mean, there were so many features to this place and I know everyone is just so excited for it to open up. We talked a little earlier too. There's a sensory room. Yeah, that was really important for them to have as well to help everyone yes. enjoy in different ways. Uh, the game room I thought was yeah. really neat as well. The fitness center, basketball court, an outdoor theater. It's I mean, a place for families. Yes. We need more of that. That's really cool. What a great story.